What's going on guys? Sorry we haven't filmed anything in the last couple days. We just haven't had too much going on, but we are going to be very busy this week. For starters, we got the S14 dropped off at my house. Didn't really film that, but we ended up bringing the MR2 over to the shop. It is right here behind me, and she is disgusting. She has been sitting for months outside. We did have it in my garage for a little bit once we got moved into the new shop, but as you can see, she is covered in pine needles. She needs a bath. We need to pull it into the wash bay, get the engine bay all washed out. It is all black from the exhaust soot. But we do have the MR2 over here. We are ready to finally start on this thing. And this morning, we went and picked up some chromoly tubing with Emilio down in Denver. And we are going to be doing some roll cage things this week. So if you guys remember when we did my hatch, we got the same size tubing. This is inch and five eighths chromoly tubing with a point 083 wall thickness with this size tubing we'll be able to get the roll cages certified we're going to be nice and safe and we are going to be doing roll cages in both the mr2 and the hondru right here we have about 100 feet just over and when we did my hatch it took about uh six sticks of this stuff right now we have 10 sticks of about 11 feet each and the mr2 i don't think is going to take as much as the hatch did but the hondru is definitely probably going to take a little bit more so we just got 100 feet to see where we're at. If we need more, we will just go pick some more up. But this is gonna be a perfect amount to get us uh, started. For sure, we're gonna be able to get the MR2 roll cage done and then with whatever's left over, we'll start on the Honru and then just get more as needed. But uh, yeah, we went and picked up some chromoly tubing so we can start doing our roll cages. And for the first time ever, we're actually going to be working on safety instead of power right away. We're gonna get the cars caged before we start putting the motors in. We don't even have parts to start building the motors yet. Anyways, we're still waiting on that, but we do have everything ordered. Uh, rods and pistons are on the way for the MR2. Everything's on the way. We have a clutch on the way for this and for Honduru. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and just dive right into it. We wanna get these cars ready for this season and just go from there. Right now we're on a little bit of a time crunch. We actually have to go pick up another MR2 that uh, our buddy Dan has. Actually, it's his brother's. If you guys remember Dan, he had his CRX on the dyno a few days ago. And yeah, he told me that his brother has a MR2 just like mine that he would be willing to sell for only 500 bucks. It runs and drives. And the reason I wanna go pick it up is because it has a black interior whereas my MR2 has the uh, blue interior, which isn't too bad, but I definitely like the black interior a lot more. So my plan is to go pick up this other MR2 and we're gonna swap the interior out because I wanna do that now before we put the cage in because once we run the bars through the dash for the roll cage, the dash pretty much will never come out. Uh, if we do try to take it out, it's gonna be a pain. So I wanna try to get Everything swapped over as soon as I can. It'll be really nice to have a black dash in this car. And then I'm gonna take all this blue interior and put it in the other MR2. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the other MR2 just yet. It is red, the paint's really faded. It is only 500 bucks, but it runs and drives. So uh, we'll see what we wanna do with it after that. But anyways, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and get the truck and trailer. We're gonna go pick it up. We have some errands to run while we're out as well. But then we'll get it back over here. And then I think once we're back at the shop, we're gonna Go ahead and dive right in and start gutting the MR2 out. Emilio's already started taking some stuff out of Honduru, but it's crunch time. So we're gonna be really busy this week, guys. We're gonna try to put out a video every day because we have a lot to get done. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up this other MR2 and we'll pick up once we're there. Oh, yep, definitely need the tire. <laughs> Smells real good around here. There's definitely a dispo right over here. <laughs> That's probably all a dispo right there. Oh, yeah. Smell it? Oh, of course. I'm getting medicated today. Good old Colorado air. <laughs> That's her. Dang. Hey, it's not even that bad. 500 bucks? I mean, it's shoot. It's got the T-top. It's a little dirty in here. Oh, yeah. I mean, for $500 is what you would expect, right? The dash is a little warped right here, though. It's not too bad. Let me clean it off and get it all checked out. Another project. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> For 500 bucks, you can't let it, can't let it go. And it has a clean title. Shoot. Yeah. You don't come by cheap MRTs often. No. Oh. That's what mine looked like when I got it. Yeah, I can just throw all my old casery stuff in mine, or from mine into this one. 
We should just daily. blow this motor up. Let's just give it a 500 shot. Put some nitrous on it. Rest her in peace. It's like a dispo right over here. This one right here is. That is? That's why you smell it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that trailer that says plant services on it. Yeah, so they do, a bu they do it for like a bunch of people is that one. Yeah, I remember like when they first started doing it, right when it became legal, all the uh, old people coming in. Why does it smell like skunks out here? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no. It's all normal now. Yeah. <laughs> you smell it everywhere. This is Colorado. So this thing has been sitting in a field for like months? Yeah, about six, seven months. And before that, it sat for a couple months at the dude's work too, so. He's a bad. Bad. Honestly, I was about to go junk it, then I noticed like it had all a bunch of pieces that were still good, so. You're gonna junk it? Now we're gonna let it live. That's a good thing. I just, I don't know. I don't have no love for cars anymore. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this air I could take. I know I'm going to have to go over there. <laughs> hey, the radio works. Let me just go ahead and back it off. All right, you can pull it back from there. We got some boards in here if we need them. Yeah, this works pretty good too. Well guys, we got ourselves another MR2. We ended up getting it for 400 bucks. Talked him down just a little bit. The interior is pretty uh, beat up. Like I said, my plan was to use this black interior in mine, but we'll see how that goes. We need to get it back and get everything cleaned out of here. The dash is disgusting. The door panels are disgusting. And I didn't really like how the dash uh, was a little warped kind of by these uh, upper defrost vents. Show more of that later, but I think mine's in a little bit better shape, but who knows, maybe this cleaned up will still look really good but either way we'll obviously be using the door panels and then there's a whole bunch of other black interior pieces like right up in here and then uh, the pieces that come along the a-pillars and stuff so we still have a lot we're gonna use off this car for mine but got ourselves another MR2 for 400 bucks so that is a really good deal and it supposedly runs and dries but uh, it needed some new spark plug wires so we could not get it running he was gonna start it for us but I believe him but yeah, it's not in too bad of shape either. Just the paint's faded, no dents, body's straight. So this is a good little car for sure. All right guys, we just got back to the shop. We got the MR2 and the trailer over there. We still have to unload it. But before we do that, me and Wyatt have a uh, little race we got to settle. Wyatt brought the pit bike back over and I also fixed the shopping go-kart the other day. I forgot to mention that as well. Got a new bearing thrown on there and we got everything put back together and I actually drove it around the other night and it feels like it's ready to go. I got a little update too. You wanna come over here on this side of the little bike here? You get that choke no, figured no out. No more zip tie issues because this new carburetor holds that bitch wide open all the time. Hell yeah. So now there's no excuses. No excuses. No excuses when I drag that ass. Oh, please. <laughs> I just want to race in the light so we can see how many bucks. Yeah, we're, we're starting to run out of daylight, so we got to go. get this race going. I got to let this thing warm up. It's been a while since you guys have seen this up and running. Let's go. Same dirt stain. It's my work good, bro. <laughs>
That was a close one. They're gonna do a roll. I could just drop my hand. It's Pretty literally much. whoever got the hit. Yep. I mean, Which, I'm not they're the same engine. I'm not so surprised. I'm not really surprised. The same motor. And to be honest, we're probably about the same weight overall. You yeah, need a little bit heavier. This has a lot of metal going yeah. on, and you got a lot of dad body. I got a lot of dad so. body. But you got a lot lower gearing too. <laughs> they even out like perfectly. Yeah. No, I bet good. zero to forty, they're like pretty damn yeah. close. Yeah. Zero to sure. sixty. Well. That one, yeah, that, has, that one has some more top end. <laughs> Mine won't do 60. I wonder <laughs> putting a little turbo kit on it will affect it a lot or not. Yeah. We'll have to see. If it does good, I'm turboing this one. <laughs> off, bro. Turbo pit bike shop. We Imagine probably just doing cruising. <laughs> Imagine just doing 40 rolls on the right. highway with people. <laughs> I'd be down for like Main Street 35 to like 50 rolls. <laughs> These things are a little sketch above that. She's not that bad. 400 bucks. It's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, we got two MR2s in here now. We took the tire off of mine and we were gonna put it on this one because it has that flat, but he didn't have the key to get this tire off because these have a weird lug nut on them. Back here, he didn't have this guy to fit those, so we just had to push it in with the flat tire. So we need to throw the tire back onto mine and get it off that jack stand, but. We got our new MR2. I like this thing. It's pretty nice, dude. 400 bucks. That's a steal for this thing, especially if it does run. Oh, the door handle on the outside doesn't work, so you have to open it. I think it has an alarm on it too. From the inside. Yep. It has a pretty nice radio too. It's got the JVC with Bluetooth. Oh, shoot. And as far as I can tell, everything else seems to work. The pop ups work great. Uh, this window works. The passenger window doesn't work. Yeah. Might need some that door stuff. panel down there is a little. A little messed up, but it's not too bad. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna see if you left anything in the trunk. Oh, there's a trunk too. Oh, dude. We got Yu Gi Oh cards. Hell oh, yeah. I wonder if there's a Blue Eyes White Dragon in here. We got some Yu Gi Oh cards with our $400 MR2. What's that, a screwdriver? We got a flathead. We got some free pretzels. No wonder there were mice in here. He said uh, rats or mice like ate through the spark plug wires. Look at all the food he has in there. Right. Mice food. There's the ECU. All right, guys, so we got the uh, new MR2. We just got pulled into the shop. Well, I actually just got out of here, but that was a fun little race while he was over. We just got back from getting food, and we also got the chromoly inside as well. We pulled all of that out of the van. So what we're actually going to be doing now is we are going to start taking the interior out of my MR2, the white one over here. We're going to get the seats out. Uh, get the carpet out and just start ripping everything apart. I'm not sure how far we'll get on it tonight, but we need to get the dash and everything out and see how we're going to run the cage. Uh, I want to look online and get some ideas. We are going to be doing a 10 point roll cage in this thing, but uh, I want to see how some other people have done it in the past. I know there's a lot of pictures online. I follow a Facebook group and there's a lot of guys that have uh, built MR2s on there. So I'm probably going to go off some of their designs and get an idea of how to do it. But I want to start on this roll cage this week. See if we can get it done by the end of this week. That would be my goal. And then we're also going to be cleaning up this red one as well. It is absolutely disgusting like you guys saw before. It needs completely cleaned out. But uh, I was looking around and it turns out that this dash is in just as good as condition as the one in mine is. I didn't notice this whole time. But mine has the same little warps that that one does on the little defroster things right here. Kind of hard to see but I never noticed it. But... That means that dash should probably work just fine for me. We did find a few more secrets on this red MR2. Turns out it comes with a uh, holy bible in the passenger door right there. So that's good to have, you know. 
holy bible uh, it also turns out that this thing has the center console mine doesn't have this i'm not sure if this is like a rare jdm part or if it's pretty common all i know is mine does not have it so that's actually pretty cool that this one has this little center console right here and this one also has covers for the inside for the t-tops i never even knew these existed so these actually bolt up right on the inside of the t-top so you don't get sun in your eyes and i had no idea these were even a thing and this would have been so nice to have because I've gone in my car so many times and it's been bright and the sun has just gotten in my eyes. So I'll definitely use those. So that's pretty sweet that we have those too. But yeah, we need to get this thing cleaned out. Whoever owned it definitely liked to eat sunflower seeds. The floor is disgusting. The seats are disgusting. Everything's all dusty. So it needs complete detail. It needs a complete detail. <laughs> for sure. It's nasty. Shampoo and all. Yeah, for sure. But it's not bad, 400 bucks, I'll take it. What do you think? $400 MR2? Oh, way. Now we got two MR2s. This one needs nice 22 swap. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I'm just gonna put all my old K stuff in it. Yeah. It'll be a good little daily. Right. Cause we're gonna have an extra K24 laying around. I have the whole turbo kit off mine. The whole transmission and everything. Yeah, the tranny, all of it. What is, what is the only thing I'll need is some new mounts. I mean, it just looks like, like no, yeah, I think there is some mice. They're probably still in there. Mm -mm. 400 bucks is a steal for this thing. Looks like it's gonna clean up pretty good though. Yeah. Look at that. She just needs some TLC. Look at all those sunflower seeds. <laughs> okay, dude. Check this out though. <laughs> Look. What? There's an iPod in here, dude. Damn, old school. It came with an iPod. That's awesome. It's 160 gigs. Damn. That was the baller iPod back in the day. It's the vintage one, dude. Yeah. I mean, all sales final, right? Yeah, we didn't find any iPod in here. <laughs> dude, that's sweet. I wonder what kind of music's in there, though. Came with an iPod. I don't know. It's dead right now. I wonder if it's like... It might be so old that the oh, battery's no, no good. No, get, take it off. Jamie has an old school... Oh, the player? Charger. And it has the cord for it and everything. Oh, Oh, we got the charger right here. Just oh, it's just it not plugged in. No, leave it, leave it. Plug it in right there. There you go, there you go. Can't believe it came with a freaking iPod. That's so funny. Let's see if it comes on. Oh, it came on. Oh, of course it works, dude. Look at that, it's just dead. Damn, 400 bucks. We got a whole MR2, 160 gig iPod, Bluetooth JVC stereo. That's pretty nice. Look at that thing. Look at all the colors. This thing's mint. Dude, we hit the jackpot. I know, imagine what else we're gonna find in here when we start cleaning it up. <laughs> and we got Yu-Gi-Oh right. cards, the Holy right. Bible. Get out of here so I can clean it up. So I can All right. <laughs> Let that charge. So Amelia's gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the inside of the red MR2. And then once we get that all cleaned up, we're gonna start pulling stuff apart and seeing what we can use off of this one for mine because like I said, I wanna use the black interior. And I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling the seats out of mine and start unbolting the dash. Just start gutting the interior on mine so we can get it ready for the roll cage. And we'll just go from there. Breakers. Yeah, dude, I like those. I need to, I need to go up like another half an inch. Oh my god, shit here. Hey Dustin. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut down the cussing while they're filming, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the struggle in there, you know? Oh yeah, the struggle is real. Just the plugs. If they were Honda plugs, they would have been done already. <laughs> Just getting comfortable with the Toyota life. Alright, I'm pushing on it, dude. What did I do? <laughs> About the whole cow oh, just rips and it, it just goes out. like nothing. <laughs> that's 50 pounds right there. Dude, that is yeah, heavy. Is, yeah. That's really heavy, honestly. That thing's beefy. Feel that. That's a heavy radio. 
Careful, Jamie, you almost worked out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit the gym tonight. <laughs> the 12 one. Those are all time slips? That's that one. That's my best one. Which length? Let the 11 8. 12 9. Look at that 60 foot. Two ones, bro. I want 11 8 with a two Give one. Me. I was on these tires that it's on right now. <laughs> Got one right there too. Exposed. Oh yeah. Looks like it's all just tens. I don't see anything. I don't see any other. There's a ten back here. Ten, oh, there's a twelve back there, right in that corner. You can't see it on camera. Oh yeah, you can yeah, barely you can see, see it, it right back in there. Yeah. Just start pulling all those out and get it free. Should be free. For the most part. I feel like that column has to come down, so. Yeah, I mean, I unbolted it, but. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just need to see it past this lever right here. Did you unplug the clock? Oh, no, I didn't unplug the clock. And also, I need to take this vent off right here. See, it wraps around the steering wheel right here. See that? Oh, yeah. That. Jim was ready to go. Oh shoot! It's out. Got it. Got it. One MR2 dash. One more to go. That wasn't too bad. I think my Civic was worse, honestly. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Not as bad as I thought. Send it over here. Yeah, I see mine's doing the same thing. That one might be a little worse, but they're both. I wonder if you can just like, oh, you can just glue that back down. Yeah, the sun probably just burned it. Yeah, just over time, it just warped it. See how the foam's sticking up? Pretty sure you could just put some really good like spray adhesive and just suck it down evenly. You can never tell. Yeah, the dash is clean. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do yet, we'll see. I just don't like the blue interior that much. I was thinking about flocking the dash, and I don't know if a lot of you guys know what that is. I just kind of found out about it. It's what like the rally cars do. They they glue, they put glue over the whole dash, and they put this like uh, this black kind of powder stuff on it. It's like what they use to line the inside of like little jewelry boxes. It's called flocking, and they do it to uh, get all the glare off the dash, so there's no reflection from the sun. But uh, I think that would look really good just to do it black and then I could make my dash black if I flocked it. That was an idea I had, so I'm not sure if I want to flock it and then just use some of like, the black trim pieces off that one or just swap everything over. So we're still thinking about it, but I do need to figure it out fast if I want to try to get the cage done this week because I don't want to try to mess with doing anything with the dash once the cage is in there. It's going to be set, so I need to figure it out now. But I also want it to look good, so we'll get her figured out. But the dash is out, so that wasn't too bad. All right, guys, we are calling it for tonight. We got a lot done on the MR2 today. We got the dash completely pulled out. We got both seats out. Obviously, there's still a lot more to get done. We need to pull the carpet out and go through everything, see what we need, see what we don't need. And obviously, we're gonna try to get as much weight out of this thing as we can because we're gonna be putting quite a bit of weight back into it once we start bending up the roll cage and getting that welded in. But that's where we're at so far. The MR2 is going to be getting a cage here really soon. And then once we get the parts in for it, we can start putting a motor together for this thing and just go all out on it. Go from there. We have stuff on the way for Hondru as well. So there's going to be more content coming for Hondru very soon. Mm -hmm. Just going to try to get them both up and going for this season. But yeah, we're calling it there for tonight on this guy. And then Emilio got this one pretty cleaned up. It's still disgusting. It needs like a good power washing on the whole, whole car inside and out. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but he got it pretty cleaned up. Yeah, it's not too bad, and I still think I do want to use this black dash because I don't like the blue one that is in mine, but. The carpet's actually pretty nice. Yeah, the carpet's nice not, under the floor bad. mats. Under all that garbage, but. Yeah, she's still pretty dirty, but yeah. it's a lot better than it just was. Found all these goodies in there, look. Even found an RC car 
glow plug igniter. I got an airhead, dude. Airheads. You want that? Uh, I'll, I'll save I'm good. it for you. I'm good. What's this? Ibuprofen. Some medicine. What is this? What is that? Another 12 sided dice. It's like an eight or something, huh? What is that? It's like a tool, like a little wrench. Oh, it is. That's kind of cool. It's yeah, a little ratchet cool. wrench. I think it's like you can put the, the bits in there, you know? Oh, ch -ch -ch -ch. definitely. That's what it is. Those got a padlock. Bro, look at this. What is this, dude? Is this from like a Power Rangers? Or oh, it looks like it's from like a battle bot. No, it looks like a little chainsaw you mount to a little RC battle bot. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's from a Power Ranger toy. Dang, got the Bluetooth headset, dude. Dang, That's old it's got all kinds of goodies. Got a working lighter. Got a razor. That would actually come in really useful. You yeah, gonna keep that. Got, oh, it has the lid top to it. We got some needle nose pliers. The vintage. I mean, we're set. And then you guys saw the 160 gig iPod we got, and it has a nice Bluetooth stereo in there. Okay. Honestly, I'll probably put that stereo in mine. Cause I want to keep the radio in there. That'll be perfect. I did also want to ask you guys what you think we should do with this MR2 that we got for 400 bucks. I do plan on keeping it. I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to take all my old stuff out of this one and put it into here because I'm going to be using a new block, new head. So I have the full factory K24 that I pulled out of this thing. I'll have the whole turbo kit off of it soon. And the only thing I need is some more mounts from Hux racing and I could whip this thing together pretty fast. I have my shifter out of this one, literally just swap it all over and I just need a new clutch and I could easily make like 500 horsepower on that setup and just have a nice little daily. Maybe I can just try to do a budget build, budget 10 second car, just trying to throw ideas out there. Let me know what you guys think. Or I could just start from scratch and try to go to a junkyard and pull another Honda motor in it and take you guys step by step on a parts list and just try to build it as cheap as I can. I don't know. Just just thoughts coming to my brain right now, but I do want to do something with this car. I do like it a lot. 400 bucks for an MR2 that's in decent shape is not bad. I'll take it. But that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Sorry for the lack of uploads the last few days. We are going to start getting stuff done here very soon now that we got some things to do finally. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.